guys, welcome back to Pika Sash's The Royal Trap playthrough! <clears throat> so, this time, after finishing Callum's ending, um, I'll post, it. I'm, I'm going to post, like, right below, like, what episodes you have to go to, go through before you get to Dolores, but basically you do everything, like, like, what I did for Callum, and then, so, you get to Dolores, and you have kind of a different route if you choose, like, a different answer now, so... Um, so let's start on episode 23 for Dolores, and, <clears throat> um, spoiler alert, her ending is really, really random, like, I don't even know. Okay, so you're just talking to her, blah, 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 like, you're in this room, so I'm just gonna skip a lot of these, because it, so you remember, like, like, um, this question like if I'm interested in him or if it's none of her business you click I'm not interested in Callum which is what I did before and then it goes along the same lines of what I did in like the other episode and so I'm just gonna skip through all of this dialogue and then instead of choosing I enjoy my life you choose I wish things were different and so the dialogue is still the same and I'm just gonna skip along right here. And this is all the same thing. And do not kiss him. And because who really wants to? And then all of this is still the same according to the last um, Callum's episode. Dolores' episode is basically kind of the same thing as Callum, except you run away before anything is finished at all. Like, I don't even know what the point of it is probably just because it's like kind of like the hidden ending but it isn't really hard to get to it except like you always get caught up in Callan's ending so um choose you never had me I actually think for Oscar like those two choices it really could matter less like which one you choose but just be on the safe side choose the one that you never had me just in case Yeah, I'm just skipping through a lot of this, like, everything's the same. So, is that what you want? Like, do you want to have your own abode, and do you want to marry him? And you say, no, that isn't what I want. And then he's like, oh, okay. He nods and turns away. And then, so, he's, he's kind of just, like, sad and grumpy, like, grumpy cat. Yeah, that's what's happening. And yeah, his, this is the poem part, like, happening in Callum's. But now Dolores has, like, a higher regard for you instead. Okay, so let's just go through this slowly now instead of just skipping through everything, because I can do that. <laughs> so around here, you'll start to get to, like, I don't know. Like, you start to feel like there's something going on now. Because, like, if you see Dolores' as, like, kind of icon... She's more likely to smile for you. So right now is kind of different because she's talking to you now, so perhaps not. Maybe I can make my life easier by playing their game. For me, I cut that line already. I know what I want, and I'll do what it takes to get it because nobody else will. Nobody else? Do you really have no one you can rely on? Do you? Oh, man, I can't read. <laughs> no friends. Oh, no family. No true master. No friends. No lover. No one. So what? So, um, I think for this, you should not click this, but for these two, it's possible you can click either one. I'm just going to say it's a weakness. It weakens you. If you had an accomplice, back when you had Cassie in the woods, you might have outflanked us. That's why I got, eh, I got involved in this mess. Prince Callum knew better than take the unknown enemies alone. An accomplice would have stabbed me in the back, and then taken my share as soon as I looked away. And Oscar and I would have attacked Callum in his sleep. There's always that chance. It's wise not to give too much trust at all. But you have to trust at least a little. Or there's nothing to build on. Better not tell her how exactly Callum enforced my trustworthiness at the time. Would you trust me? See, this is like where it changes. Because she's like kind of like opening up to you. Okay. I don't know. I did once. I thought you were helping me. Get into those rooms. I did help you. I gave you what you wanted. 
but you weren't exactly honest with me, were you? Before, before I could say anything else, I hear a muffled shout from the nearby room. What's going on? Moments later, Cassie charges back into the room. Don't need to... Okay, I think this is going back is the same. So... It's a different ending now. You don't see, like, an A or whatever. So... They're going to try to get, like, the queen or whatnot. And then they're going to leave us alone. So, that's when we talk to, um, Dolores. Okay, just keep going. Just keep clicking the mental breakdown. Okay, I think I really like this music. Does anyone else? I know that's really random, like right about now, but still. Okay, like somewhere after you choose the right answer, she'll um pause. Okay, so it's your way of letting me leave now. So sh around here, she should be like, "Hey, do you want to run away with me?" So actually, you should come too. We could be free from all of this. What, run off and li live in the woods? We'd starve. No, not that. Remember that bag of gold Prince Ragbear? Bring that bleh, rag of Callum. He never gave it he never gave it back. It's sashed in his rooms. I know <laughs> and I know where. Think about it. When the Princess Falsy flips her skirts Oh gosh. I don't want I don't want to know that. So her answer is just to walk away. So yeah. Start a new life. You and me together. No more nobles. You'd say anything to get out of here, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Maybe the truth is, I've learned to respect you, Madeline. I do know your name. We're not princesses, either of us. Didn't start out that much. We used our minds, clawed our way out. We're not so different. You know the high tables. I know the back alleys. We could help each other. Don't you want to be free? And this is where you choose, I'm tempted. If you say never, you will die. Or, I have no idea. But that's, if you choose never, that's Callum's bad ending. So if you want me to do that, I can. Okay? So, yeah. I, <clears throat> you're not completely wrong. 2,000 gold ducaters is a good sum. More than enough for a home of my own. Our own. <laughs> right. And you'll, you'd be happy with that, sharing your windfall with me. You're thinking about it. Admit it. You're tempted. I have responsibilities. Duties. Only as long as you let them tie you down. Oscar isn't tying me down, and Callum... She says nothing. And waits. Just waiting. Oscar, what future would there be for us? <laughs> and Callum. I've already rejected him, haven't I? Any possibility of position and marriage he had hoped for, for, end for ended the moment Cassie chose to abdicate. The two of them will have to set on the search for a new life. They might welcome my company, but... How is it different from the plan Dolores proposes? There would be more of us, and more danger besides. Callum and Cassie are known figures. They can't simply disappear. They will be targets for political movements in the years to come. I can't even begin to predict the risks and challenges they might face. It would be selfish of me to leave them to that fate, wouldn't it? Callum and Cassie need me. You owe them nothing. You're not even born here. Are you still eager to be a slave? You'll turn anyone you meet into your master. I choose for yourself. Will you come with me or won't you? I will go with her. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Dolores is right. We can be our own masters. No one telling us what to do. No complicated break to maintain freedom. What's your plan? You can't leave the rooms by the door. Cassie's hall is old, bleh, always guarded, even if she's not there. I can't crawl, crawl the walls like you do, but I'm free to walk out. So, you take the windows and meet me in Ragnar's room. We get the gold and set our next steps from there. Dress you in some of his clothes, and no one will notice. Blind as mold, most of them. Alright. I'm not sure if this is the good ending or not. I think this might be the good ending. And so, for what I hope will be the last time I find myself clinging to the stones of palace walls. Somewhere inside of the royal bloodline is about to be shattered. We have to hurry. It occurs to me now that it is too late to change our mind. That, while I am out of, out there, Dolores is on her own. She could choose to take all the gold for herself and flee, leaving me dangling. If that gold exists at all. 
entire story could have been fabricated to distract me so she could escape. I have offered her my trust. Will she uphold it? Will she be waiting for me on the other side of the window? The, the window is open. A promising sign. A promising sign. I slip through Callum's chambers. Footsteps approach. Oh. There you are. <laughs> You're good with locks, right? Come on, it's it. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm glad to see you, that's all. You didn't think I'd show, did you? If I really didn't think that, it would have been pretty stupid of me to come here. You still look surprised. So did you. I'm just saying you say yes every time she says that. Yes. Well, I wasn't sure you'd really go along with... That's the first time you trust someone. There's always that chance. So what are we waiting for? We don't have all day. Show me that lock. The human. The epilogue. So this is the ending for, yeah, Dolores and you. So we're po with our purloined loot in hand, Dolores and I escaped the palace. We did not wait to see the aftermath of Cassidy's revelations. We did not remain in Gwellamore. We bought supplies where we could travel onward, ever onward, seeking a land of many opportunities and few questions. It is not entirely easy to create a new identity in a foreign land, even with ready gold available. Bandits were another concern. Alone. Either one of us would have likely been swept away. My original desire had to claim an estate and settle myself as a gentlewoman. But with our circumstances as they were, it was no longer a good choice. Families of quality were always known to one another, and many questions would be raised. More importantly, Dolores would never be comfortable in such a world. We had, after all, left in order to escape these those social stri ah, strictures. I think it's like structures or whatever. Okay. On the road, Dolores proved herself to be a good companion and a hard worker, never shirking her share in the burden. Her dream was to find a home in which to be self-sufficient <clears throat> and need no others ever again. So I can't really read. I, I made up words. Okay. And so, a little further to the left there. That one. You could come up here yourself. <laughs> You're so better climber than I am. Okay. Not orders. Suggestions. Yay! So this is the ending! We became farmers! <laughs> what is this nonsense? <laughs> so, we become farmers. There's nothing easy about working on your own land. There's always more chores to be done, more plants and animals to tend. The hours are long and the labor often dirty. But knowing that our food and our fortunes depend entirely upon our own labors, we have all the incentive we need. A gentle breeze scatters uh, sunlight across our faces and butterflies take wing. Tonight there will be apple tarts for dinner and after that we will sleep safe and secure in our own home. It's a good life. Freedom is what you what you make of it. Yay! Happy end for Dolores! Yay! It was all completed in one episode! <laughs> happy end! So that was this one for Dolores. <laughs> okay. So... I'll end my episode here, and next one, we start where we left off with Naizagi, and I'll post um, stuff below to say where to start off, follow everything that I did before in the following episodes below, and like, favorite, do what is, subscribe, and comment below, and thank you for watching!